Nick, welcome. Thank you. Episode yes, five. Who would think we'd last five episodes, huh? I'm impressed. And uh, <laughs> a very iconic day for, for many, many reasons. One, as I just mentioned, it is episode five. But yes. uh, more importantly, the location of where we are. We are at... Phillip Island Grand Prix Circuit. Phillip Island Grand Prix Circuit. MotoGP. Yes. Superbikes. It is the, one of the most iconic supercars, supercars go-karts just around the corner. That's right. One of the most iconic racetracks in all of Australia. Uh, we know it's a favourite for uh, our CEO, uh, Marcus Flash, as mm. well. Our CEO of M, Marcus Flash, uh, loves the track. He has uh, a big history with uh, motor racing. Mm. But again, to take it one step further, why are we here, Nick? Well, we've got M3 and M4, the sixth generation yeah. of those cars. They're here for driving experience. Yeah. You're about to see them do yeah, a flyby. Yeah, they're fly driving by. right past us as we speak. And I don't think there's a better place really in Australia, as you said, mm. to launch these cars. Yeah. All new platform, the new engine, 375 yeah. kilowatts, which is 500 yeah. horsepower in the old money. Yeah. Customers are getting the opportunity. Media are getting the opportunity. Yeah. And uh, these two groups mm. are among the first in the world to drive and, these and cars on track. let's talk about those groups. So mm. today is the first day. It's been about 12 months almost uh, to the day mm. that our driver experience team, the BMW driver experience team, have been able to take uh, the activities back on track. Obviously, uh, COVID uh, put a screeching halt to that. Now, the last time uh, that the DE team were on track, we had the previous generation M3 and M4 right. running around in the fleet. Today, first time, New generation, the sixth generation M3 and M4 are out on the track. Uh, for the specific customers here today, it will be the first time uh, anyone outside of BMW Group Australia as an employee uh, has had the privilege to drive the vehicles. Uh, first time on track, part of the driver experience fleet. And also, as mentioned earlier, the first time that the DE guys have been able to put their uh, experience out into practice uh, 12 months after the last uh, last event, which was um, held around March last year. So mm. very iconic day for us. Uh, we will be interviewing uh, Doug Greenslade a uh, little bit later on. Uh, he is the head of our BMW driver experience team here in Australia. And the man um, with some pedigree himself. He has got yeah. a bit of pedigree, yes. He's been around the block a few times. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll sort of hone in on some of his experience and, and, and how many times he's gone around the block uh, later on. But between now and then, uh, we hope that you just enjoy some of the raw footage of the day as we go down trackside uh, and get to experience what these cars are all about. Looking forward to that. All right, so we're joined Nick Trackside with uh, one Mr. Doug Greenslade, who happens to actually be my colleague over at BMW Australia Group as well. Doug, thank you very much for joining us, mate. Thank you for the opportunity Good to uh, to chat today. Now, pleasure. Now we're here for the first time in what uh, some eleven odd months was the yes, last it, time you uh, got down to the tracks. Quite right. Our last event was here was in March um, last year. Um, before COVID closed us all down. So it was so excited to actually be back here yeah. for the relaunch of BMW Drive Experience yeah. in 2021. Now, now, Doug, can you tell us a little bit about, I mean, working at head office, we obviously know the ins and outs of Drive Experience and, and, and what it's uh, supposed to deliver, the message it's supposed to deliver. Can you tell us a little bit about how it all began and, and where it all began, both in Australia and, and, and I guess back in, uh, back in Germany? Back in Germany, it goes back uh, 40 years in mm. Germany, and it was mainly to uh, to showcase the product of the car yeah. and also make safer drivers. Mm -hmm. And from there, it built all around the world. Yeah. Um, it started in Australia um, in the 90s and was actually based in Queensland, oh, right. running yeah. out of the Norwell, Norwell facility, which is still there today. Yeah. Now, Doug, you've been part of the team and I guess the DE group for just over about two odd decades. Can you tell us a little bit of one, your background and how did you start getting involved within the driver experience group? Um, well, I guess my background, I started with the uh, automotive, yep. which is where you start there, and I uh, got involved in motorsport, in, in racing, and then um, was the general manager for one of the leading um, drive experience providers and then had the opportunity to join BMW. So it's always been in my, my background in that case. To, uh, to be involved and uh, it's it's certainly a joy. Yeah. And, and we've spoken about a lot of firsts today about mm. the cars on the track, etc. One of the first Australian uh, drivers also licensed, my understanding? 
Sorry, the, one of the first Australian drivers to be licensed by, for, by head office well, for yes, DE? Yes, for um, all our instructors yeah. have got to have a uh, certification yeah. from Germany. Yeah. It's a two-week program that we go through with that. Um, I did it back in 2016 and I was the first drive experience manager in the world to pass and uh, be accredited as a BMW driving experience instructor. Well, so uh, that, was, that was pretty good. We're amongst really good company, there you go. <laughs> we are. Tell us, Doug, about the, um, the way or, or how driving experience has evolved over the years. Have you introduced more programs to it? I mean, obviously the machinery has changed a lot, so you've had to adapt to that. But what else have you brought into the program that's taken it to the next level progressively? Yeah, Nick, a good question, Eric. Um, and we see that today with the sales of the vehicles, particularly SUV vehicles, is a very strong portfolio of the BMW range. And we've introduced what we call an X-Drive. And we've been running that today, where we take the X-Drive vehicle off-road um, through a water crossing and highlight some of the engineering, it's downhill descent and hill hold, and put it on a great embankment where you can actually get the car rocking on two wheels. And um, it certainly surprises people of what um, the, the product can do. So not only do we do the track with the M cars and uh, they get the joy of that, we then go to the other side with the X range vehicles. Right, and it's uh, been a good win. Now, Doug, I mean, it, it's good to be back in 2021. Uh, obviously new cars uh, back at Phillip Island. Um, new team as well is my understanding. Yes, we took the opportunity during um, COVID lockdown yep. was to have a look at the program, uh, work out where we can make Im improvements mm -hmm. with the product, as I said, with the X-Drive vehicles. And uh, we also have new instructors yep. for uh, this season. And uh, this is their first event yep. and you're going to meet them shortly. Cool, can you yeah. tell us a little bit about who they are and then some um, of their Yes, we've got Kevin Flynn, which is our chief instructor. Yep. We've got um, Cameron McConville. A name that a lot of people would recognise yeah. based yes. in uh, Supergar days, yeah? Yes, that's right. Um, Gavin Coleman, yeah. um, Richard Luff, uh, just to name a, a few of them, which are sort of here today. Mm -hmm. So um, A lot of pedigree there, there, isn't there? there Motorsport is. and driving experience. There is. They've yeah. done many laps around yeah. this circuit and the yeah. circuits around Australia, which they can pass those techniques on to the customers. Yeah. And ideally what we like to see is that every customer that leaves a drive experience program is that they become a better driver, yeah. have more confidence in themselves and um, the confidence in the BMW yeah. product. And I think I was mentioning in the briefing, there's about 150 years of uh, driver experience <laughs> amongst the group. So. Yes, Ab absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. And how many events this year are planned um, as part of the relaunch of BMW driving experience done? On the calendar at the moment, we've got 70, 72 days booked. Okay. Uh, majority of those days are at Phillip Island here. We do go to Sydney Motorsport Park, uh, Norwell in Queensland, and the Bend in South Australia. Okay. And uh, we certainly enjoy going to all of those and uh, enjoy the sunny weather. Now, and, and as we talk about um, those tracks and, and different individuals based around the country, uh, all high performance purchases uh, automatically get uh, a, a track day. Uh, that they can redeem over a 12-month period, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, that's right. Uh, now, we know that uh, we operate in several states uh, around the country. Um, you can go to bmw.com.au website, head over to the driver experience uh, little section uh, at the below of the table, and you can actually book those tracks in advance, When obviously whenever they come up, when you guys are scheduled to be in those particular states. Yes, uh, that's right. But it's also not just for those who have a voucher because they're a BMW owner. Anybody can go on and actually buy a day. You can be an individual, you can be a group of friends, you can be a corporate wanting to do a corporate day. There's multiple uses, so. Quite, quite right, and we've yeah. seen um, the gift voucher side of the, the business mm -hmm. has increased where people can buy yeah. the gift voucher and um, I guess that was a thing yeah. during COVID is, yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, yeah, so that started to increase and yeah. they're available through the website. So you can purchase two courses, mm -hmm. which is the compact, which is a half day course that we've been running here today. Yeah. Or there's the advanced one course, yeah. which is equivalent to the um, M entitlement yeah. that you spoke about earlier. Now, now what, would you, what would a customer who is booking it for their own personal use or corporate use, I guess, what would they expect to get out of a DE day, a typical DE day? Um, on the uh, half day, as we call the compact, is you do circuit laps as we see here in the M cars, yep. and then we do an activity on the, the skid pan, mm -hmm. um, and that's driving, um, you could say even JCW in that, yep. or um, yep. M2s. Yep. On a full day, the Advance One course, we do the activities on the, the track here. Yep. We do a oversteer event on the skid pan, which everybody loves that one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also do a slalom on the track as well. 
and um, it certainly become a better driver out of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one I almost forgot to mention, we do a brake and avoid exercise. Yeah. Yeah. And in that one, we actually use the X range, mm -hmm. the X3 M40i. Yeah. And uh, that certainly surprises people, the, uh, how controllable the car is. And again, yeah. all the engineering that BMW put into it to be such a stable car on the road. Yeah. So an action-packed fun day, but also oh, a very absolutely. practical day as well. Yes. Stuff that you take home and you're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis driving the cars, whether it's on track or off track. That's right. Yeah. And by covering such a, a wide variety of models, yeah. somewhere in there sort of meets yeah. what you currently have as your everyday drive. That's fantastic. Mm. Doug, you mentioned some highlights of our model range there. What, uh, what makes up the 2021 fleet for BMW driving experience? What we see here today, which is the new M3 yeah. and the new M4 um, competitions, and uh, we've had those on the track now for the day and uh, mm. smiles or big smiles all around <laughs> in, in that case, um, even from us, from the That's instructors right, yeah. that have been so familiar with the previous mm. model. Mm. Um, the new one is leaps and bounds mm. ahead as we would expect. Mm. Yeah. And um, the other vehicles we have is the X3 M40i's, which we even use those on the track as well. Yeah. And yeah. the M2 competition. Mm. So uh, it, it certainly puts a smile on the faces of everyone. Well, there you go. Lots yeah. of fun all around. Um, Doug, we've taken up plenty of time mate so we cannot thank you enough i'll see you in the office anyway uh, but for those of you uh, we, we mentioned again you can go online bmw.com.au head over to drive experience you can book your days half day full day uh, book it for your partners your friends your your, your family uh, or more importantly nice even, even the corporate too. yeah <laughs> yeah next birthday's coming up yeah. so there you go uh, but also for those corporate events so doug really appreciate your time thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. and thanks to all the team for obviously uh, allowing us here today okay. to, to talk to you guys and i thank you very much and i think you're about to head out on the track with um cameron yes. yeah can't wait there we go the, Good chance for the helmet again the second highlight of the day post the interview here with doug all right then i'll leave you thank you doug <laughs> cheers mate. Uh, so here we are in the all new bmw m3 and we've got a very special man behind the wheel cameron mcconville we spent many years at the top flight of motorsport welcome to your camp thank you nice to be well first of all at the best racetrack, in my opinion, in Australia, and the all new M3, which is absolutely built for being on a track. You know, just feels so sure-footed, and uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to be able to jump in it, you know, just so early, just as they're released. Yeah, excellent. It's a, it's a privilege for us uh, on the BMW M podcast, and we're starting to gather some speed, and we just appreciate some insight from you on, on you know, the best driving lines, um, braking points, you know, taking the apex properly, um, we're, we appreciate your insights and um, as yeah, you start sure. to get some heat into those tyres. Yeah, so I've got the car actually in MDM mode. So what that does is it allows a little bit of slip angle of the, of the rear tyre and the car, but still doesn't switch off, you know, the DSC traction or anything like that altogether. And I think it's the fastest way to drive around a track. And a lot of people are going to buy these cars, M3, M4 particularly, and do track days. Uh, yep. BMW days, for example, and we've already had a few customers here on the on the drive experience today that that are looking at the car for exactly that purpose. And I feel that MDM mode is the best of both worlds. It's it's safe because yep. it doesn't turn everything off. Yep. Um, and you know, professional driver will actually go faster in that mode right. than trying to drive it with the TC off. You know, okay. we've got over 500 horsepower now in this car. Um, and so why not use the systems that it's engineered from yeah. the factory with? Yeah. So the other thing that I've noticed straight away is just how much torque it's got yeah. and how it delivers the power. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually coming onto the front straight here at Phillip Island in fifth gear. Yeah. You know, just little gentle turn on the wheel, increase the throttle. Yeah. And it's just so smooth, it just pulls away. We're already doing 180. Yeah. Uh, I'm in seventh now. 8th, 200k an hour and we're just talking yeah. like we're hardly yeah, even right. moving. It's just so stable on the road. Yeah. Uh, brakes also, so it increases steering performance, mm -hmm. braking performance uh, when you go into that MDM mode. So effectively I've gone from road to sport yep. and then I've pressed the M1 button on the, on the wheel which is already pre-calibrated and that's shifting it into that MDM mode as I say. And I mean turn two at Phillip Island, you know, just on the throttle, like that uh, and that flat, was that was fifth gear yeah, I'm not yeah. flat yet that's flat <laughs> um, so you know just 
a really nice sure-footed car and, and I can definitely feel the difference in this model. I've driven some of the previous models before um, and this is just so much more stable and now we'll give it a bit of a squirt. Yeah. So Cam, I'm guessing this is how you drive to the uh, supermarket on the weekends too? <laughs> no, I actually value my license. Oh, okay. So, uh, but listen to that. Yeah, fantastic. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, through the hay shed here, I'm doing 170 k's an hour while I'm talking to you guys. Yes. So yeah. the engine's impressive, but it's the stability. Um, okay. You know, we've got a massive footprint on the road with the rear tire. And, and I think just having a car that I feel is more direct than the previous model, mm -hmm. but sometimes when a car's direct in the steering, it, it, it can feel that the back is unstable yeah. or the back wants to follow the front. But what I like most about the new M3 is that the front and the back are really connected. Um, you know, we know BMW always, um, you know, I guess typifies that 50-50 that weight balance. Yeah. Not every car can achieve that. Mm -hmm. BMW have over the years but this just takes it to another level. I mean, it's just effortless to drive around a track and it really is built for a circuit like this at Phillip Island. Yeah, it's, it, we're really getting a sense of it. It's, it's impressive how flat it sits and how stable, as you were saying, but it's, isn't it amazing to think that a road car producing 500 horsepower, you would have driven a lot of race cars over the years that did have 500 horsepower, but to be driving a road car that's so versatile says something about the, the way things have moved on, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's actually, that's the biggest I guess compliment to the car that we get from the customers on a day like today where they'll actually say you know oh what what have you changed on the car yep. you know uh, is this running a different tire is this running an aspect tire or right. have you changed the brakes and it's a stock standard you know other than getting a thousand k's or 1200 k's running on the road to look after them um, it's an absolute off the shelf what you'll buy at your bmw dealer and right. um, you know as i say i just I just find that the tunability, where you can tune steering, brakes, you can tune the ESC, um, you know, you've got so much adjustment now yep. that you can play with and you can pre-program it yeah. to suit. You know, just flick of the button, turn it into M1 mode and you're set for the track. You know, and it really is a set and forget. Um, the other thing too that I like are these carbon reinforced seats. I mean, it's like sitting in a race seat. Yeah. You don't need a race harness. You know, the seat does the job for you. Um, they're and still they're comfortable too, aren't they? Very comfortable, very comfortable. But, you know, and again, most of the time they're going to be driven to work or down the street. But, but you know, we know that with the M cars, they do find their way on the track and it just really does hug you in the seat beautifully. Absolutely. So we've got the M4 in front of us now as well. So a little bit of uh, race-like. Uh, a little bit of friendly competition. Toing and frying, love it. Yeah, we thought we'd let him pass just for one corner. Yeah, know. nice. <laughs> Cam, just talking a bit more about the driving experience um, that we're a part of today, the, that notion of getting out into a track and learning those principles of driving position, braking points, it makes any regular driver a better driver, doesn't it? Without a doubt. And, you know, I think as you go up through the levels of the BMW Drive Experience Program, we can, we can do more and more each day with that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's hard in a half day to teach someone to be a race driver, but hopefully what we do teach is for them to be a, a more competent road, road driver, you know? And if they do do the odd track day as well, um, yeah, then that's just gonna be a, a massive advantage for when they hit the track next time around. And then of course they can come up into our more advanced level programs. Yep. So rather than a half day of what they might be doing today, they'll get a full game. And Cam, you've got something like 70 odd events planned for the year already with the DE team? We have, and it's sold out for the first six months, I wow. believe. And I think that just shows everyone really is keen to get in these yeah. cars yeah. and what a great way to get out. Um, about 72 events planned, so a mixture of uh, dealer participation. Yeah. Um, and you can just book in, you don't have to be a BMW customer. Um, we feel you probably might be afterwards, yes. Um, yes. but anyone can come along and roll and do a, a multiple level day. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thanks a lot, Cam. I mean, you, you have serious pedigree in motorsport and high performance yeah. driving, and we really appreciate uh, your time today taking us through the car and also ideal lines and also just generally the benefits of this driving experience, BMW driving experience. So thanks Pleasure. very much. Yeah. Pleasure, much guys. appreciated. Thanks for coming for the ride. Thank you. 
to feel the heritage of the BMW then powered behind it. Yeah, very powerful and the turning, you can feel it and the grip and the speed are very awesome. It was really, really good. It was really, really fun. Looking at the speedometer because it was scaring yeah, yeah. me, but it was really, really fun. My heart's still uh, racing, so oh, yeah, really? it's good. Yeah. yeah. What a fantastic wow. day. That was incredible. I don't know about you, Nick, but I just got goosebumps all over. Those cars are immaculate. I mean, we've oh, yeah. spoken about it in, in our previous podcast. Uh, we can talk about it till the cows come home. They look good, they feel good, they sound good. Uh, it's we, a next we, level of performance, it is, isn't it? And, and we keep honing in about how they're so versatile. You can use them on the track, just like we did today. You can use them for everyday life, doing them from work, doing your food shopping, doing all the other stuff. I just, I cannot get over how exciting that was, man. That was incredible. One of the best experiences that I've ever had. If we've got big smiles. Imagine all the people actually driving. Yeah, yeah. You, you will be kicking yourself not to take up this opportunity in these iconic cars. Right. So, really worth it. Thank you to the driver experience team uh, for having us here today. Obviously, Dash Media, as always, uh, making us look and sound good. God knows how many takes we've taken to uh, to get to this stage. One or two. Thank you, the team. Uh, and obviously our uh, marketing guys uh, who provide us with all the lifestyle apparel as well. We've got to thank them for um, supplying all the gear for us. Now, that wraps up episode five. Yes. Episode six, Nick. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about what's well, coming up? Well, we've got up? a very special guest mm. joining us for episode very special. six. Yep. Uh, and um, I think we're going to have some great topics to talk about. We will. Can we name who our special guest is? Just I was to thinking keep about that intrigued? just at that time. I think um, we might just save up for the next yeah, one. Yeah, save it up. Yeah, okay, so, so make sure you tune in. We'll, we'll probably have some little feeder clips of who our special guest will be. Uh, but it's fair to say that uh, this particular individual doesn't generally give interviews yeah. and loves doing that. Awesome. Thank you again for tuning in, guys. Great to be here. We'll Thank speak to you soon. Why don't you just say who it was? Oh, well, I mean, building anticipation. I oh, know, but the is reason it? head office lets us do these things is because of all the likes and people following us and, you know, sharing the voice and, yeah, and getting to that, promote them. Yeah, but the, the thing is, people can get excited. Yeah, yeah. but hold on, you, you can get excited. You brought a big helmet to a track day. <laughs> like, you're overcompensating as you always do. You should have just mentioned the name. That's the least thing you could have done. Oh, look, I just think, you know, it's all about getting that excitement building. People are going to love it. Right?